In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to connect your Int360 X3 camera to mobile app, and I'm gonna show you how to edit some really cool 360 footage. So first things first, you're gonna go and need to download the Int360 app, which I'll put a link in the description for if you've not got that. I am on my iPhone, but this is, this is probably gonna be the same for Android as well. You wanna navigate over to the Insta360 app. We'll open it up, and first things first, we need to turn the camera on. Once it's turned on, you wanna press this yellow button at the bottom of the app, which is gonna connect the camera to the phone. If you've connected the camera to the phone before, which obviously I have, it's coming up and recognizing my camera on the phone. And we're gonna click join the Wi-Fi network, so then it's gonna connect all this up. It says unable to connect for some reason. Ah, oh, turn my Wi-Fi on, that might help. There we go. Okay, we're all connected up. I have a new firmware update, which I'm gonna update later. As soon as we land on the, 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 the camera's files, you'll see that it is obviously you can scroll through here and you can see all the footage you have on the camera. Before we edit any videos, what I like to do is go to settings and uh, scroll down into app settings and make sure we turn the shot on watermark and toggle it to off. Because obviously we don't want the Insta360 logo watermark on our footage. I mean, you might want that, but I always just turn it off. Okay, so we'll choose a clip and I'll show you how to edit it in the app. So we're gonna pick this 360 clip that I got earlier this week of me just walking in the hills. Before we do anything, what I like to do is trim my clip first, because obviously all the footage you get, the more you get is, the, is better, but you're probably not gonna end up using all of it in a video. You're only gonna wanna trim out certain parts of it. So what we'll do is we can click this trim button here. Oh, hang on a second. We can click this trim button and we can actually trim how much of the video we want to use. So let's just say we want to use this little 20 second clip for this little tutorial. There's our 20 second clip. And what we can do now is we can begin reframing. And there's a number of different ways you can do this. So first of all, which is a bit more of a manual process, we can use keyframes. So the bottom here, you'll see the big yellow plus button. We can click that and we can rotate where we want our first shot to be. So let's say we want it pointing directly at me. And we can obviously also adjust how wide, how tight this is with these little buttons. And we can even go tiny planet if you really wanted that kind of effect. So we could start with tiny planet, I guess. And then what we could do is we could go through our footage like this. Let's go about 10 seconds in. And we can add another keyframe. Let's just go wide or like ultra wide to here. So now we have two keyframes and what the, the app will do is it will transition between the two keyframes. So if you, if you play it back now, I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, we're at the top of a little hill. It's a little bit breezy. So no idea what it's going to sound like on the GoPro Max. Not the best example, but you can see how you can start to reposition the shot and you can tell the camera where you want it to point at different parts in your video. This is a bit more of a manual process and if you want to really customize the look of your video and you want the camera to be pointing at certain objects or things in a shot, this is probably how I would do it. Let's reset all these edits and let's have another go. Now you'll see at the top here, we've got different editing options here. And if we click snap, this is one of my favorite ways to edit because it gives you free control of where your camera, per, camera is looking just by holding your camera and moving it around. So we can click this middle button here and we can literally <coughs> so the top. move so the camera the top of a little hill. It's a little bit exactly breezy. where we want to look so in real no time. It's gonna sound Tiny like planet, zoom right in. On the GoPro Max. And, and we'll stop we and then it'll save game. that as it is. Like I think that's one of the easiest ways to edit footage. D doesn't matter what you're doing. If we play it back, you'll see here it's following my exact movements. So we're at the top of a little hill. It's a little bit breezy. So no idea what it's just kind of cool. From here we can also adjust the aspect ratio by literally clicking on whether you want one by one, nine by sixteen, sixteen by nine for like YouTube videos. So this is all really, really simple to do. And what else we can do, we can click auto as well. So this is letting the AI in the app 
determine how it films and creates the, the, re, the 360 video, I guess. So it's AI initiating. I've actually never used this tool before, so this is a first for me, but I've pointed the camera at myself. Let's just see, I've got some right funny face there. Let's just see what the, let's just see what happens now if I play this. I think it's developing, oh, so these must be variations in the bottom then. So the AI is actually giving you different variations of clips so you can choose from. This is the first one. You can see there, if I swipe through, it's kind of focusing a lot on me. If you look at this one, this is kind of focusing on more on the, the scenery, which is kind of cool. And then we've got what looks more like a, oh okay, guys, it's almost like switching between the two cameras and doing, adding some music as well. How cool is that? And I've just done all this with a tap of a few buttons. So that just goes to show that you don't have to be an expert in editing to make some really cool videos in the Insta360 app. So we'll look through another couple of features. So let's open up a, another clip. And this is basically a shot on the single lens camera. So we're just using one lens on this. I'm gonna take you through some of the features here. So obviously we've got Clarity Plus, which is basically, you can see that it enhances the, the look of the video. You may not want that on or off. Color Plus, that looks like it just adds more saturation to your shot. Snapshot, so we can obviously grab a photo from the video in real high quality. Face filter, so it actually grabs. That's amazing that. You can actually use AI in the app to brighten, reshape your face. Wow, this is crazy. This is actually the first time I've used this as well. You can reshape someone's nose. Oh wow, how is it doing this? Eye shies. Toner, or you can just click auto. That's unreal. You can have music to your video, so there's obviously a lot of copyright free music Box in your ear. inside the app, which you can choose so you can jazz up your music a bit more. All sorts of different categories to choose from. We've got speed, so we can start adding motion blur to our videos. So let's just say, for instance, we want to add, let's do a hyperlapse. Let's add a hyperlapse here. I'm just dragging across the screen here. You've got motion blur on, you can toggle that on or off. One thing to note as well, if you're playing this back in the app, you won't actually see the motion blur until you export it. So it'll just look like a really fast clip there. Uh, from the audio, but let's, let's export that now and let's see what that looks like with motion blur. So here we have the clip I just made. You see the motion blur on that? Pretty cool. You can obviously get really creative with that as well. I'm just wanted to show you just some of the features on this app. When it comes to exporting videos, we've got a number of different options as well. So we can go to custom here. Obviously, you can choose the auto export settings, which is just 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames a second for this particular clip. But if you want to customize things a bit, we can obviously choose what kind of resolution we want. We can go over to 4K. We can change the frame. Oh, we can't change the frame rate because we shot that at 30 frames a second. We can play the bit rate as well, so that just gives you a bit of a higher quality bit of footage. I personally prefer to export my footage between about 50 and 60 megabytes uh, on the bit rate scale, just because that just gives me a bit more quality I like to see. Click export and it'll obviously take you through to the screen and it will export straight to your phone. So that was a basic overview of how to connect your camera to the app and edit some really cool 360 footage. There's so much you can do with the app and this camera. I think it is a really, really cool device and it's ahead of the game when it comes to 360 cameras. I think it's better than a lot of other brands out there. I think this is literally the leader in the market right now. I mean, if you've got any questions about editing in the phone app specifically, or even just this camera in general, pop them in the comments below and I'll get back to them and try and answer them. Take care, hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.